Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to study one more example on array of string and it is of sorting. Okay, basically what we are going to do, we are going to sort the elements of this array of string means the first string will be apple, then banana, then mango, then orange, then papaya, so on. So basically here we are going to use one simple uh, logic of sorting which is selection sort and I already cover this part while studying one dimensional array. Okay, so if you want detailed logic of this, please watch this video and I'm going to attach the link of that video in a description below. So please refer that video for more detail. So basically in selection sort, what we do, we compare first string or the element at zeroth position with all the position. Okay, and if the element of next position means in this case, as you can see here, the element at first position is smaller than element at zeroth position. So swapping will be done. So banana will be placed at zeroth position and mango will be placed at first position. Then banana will be compared with second position and third position and so on. Okay. So if next position element is smaller, then swapping will be done. So let us write a logic for this. So definitely here we will have one fruit array okay then for swapping purpose we need one temporary string because whenever we are going to perform the swapping we are going to keep this banana string in temporary variable then mango will be shifted on the place of banana and the banana string that we placed in a temporary string variable will kept it in a zeroth position okay so here i'm going to explain you a simple uh, logic only okay i'm not going to write an input and output statement so here i'm considering that we have fruits array of strings okay of size 5 and 5 of 5 by 10 one temporary string that will be used for swapping okay and we need to index variable i and j okay so first of all definitely you will input a array of string then sorting logic will be there so i'm just going to write a sorting logic only so for i is equal to 0 then i less than 4 now why less than 4 because what we do generally we compare zeroth position element with all the elements then first position element with all the element then second position element with 3 and 4 and 3 get compared with 4 so but fourth is fourth element is not compare with anyone okay so that's why the comparison will done at till the second last position only so i plus plus now here we have to use nested loop for j is equal to now how your iteration will start your zeroth position element will get compared with 1. When you are comparing first element, it will be compared with second, third and fourth means plus 1 position onwards. So that's why j is always initialized with i plus 1. What is the current value of i? That plus 1. Now it goes till end. Okay. Means as I shown here, it will be compared with third position. Then it will be compared with fourth position. So you can remember it in this way. So this end will be i and the arrow end will be what? j. So j goes till end of your array and then j plus plus. Okay. Now here we have to write comparison statement. So as I told you, if the next position elements means here our next position is denoted by j. If it is smaller than i position then we are going to do a swapping so again we cannot use a comparison operator that is a relational operator here we have to use compare function okay so again i am going to perform case insensitive comparison because here case do not matter so str cmp i fruits of i so this will give me your address of i throw comma fruits of j address of j through okay 
because all our string functions accept a address of a string and this will use you address of ith and jth row so if ith position string is greater my compare function will gives me a positive output if my jth position string is greater compare function give me a negative output and if both the strings are equal it will give me a zero we already studied this part right okay again for the detail explanation you can watch the video of string comparison i am going to attach the link of it in a description below so basically here when we want to perform a swapping when the element at ith position is greater than jth position means if the answer is positive if ith position string is greater it will give me a positive value means if your first string is greater it will give you a positive value and at that time we want to perform this swapping again for swapping we cannot use assignment operator we have to use copy function so str cpy what it does it copies one string or it assigns one string to another so what we will do we will first of all copy the string at ith position of our array in temporary now look at this here i just wrote a temp whereas here i wrote fruits of i because temp is just a single string whereas fruits is array of string so remember this thing now str cpy now copy the element uh, sorry uh, the strings at jth position to ith position so fruits of i comma fruits of j so jth position get copied to ith position okay now the last statement str cpy fruits of j to jth position we copy the string at temp which is nothing but a string at ith position so done with this part if you want to do a, a sorting in descending order in that case you have to just reverse this sign you have to say less than zero okay so let us see the practical implementation and execution of this in code block so here i included the required header files okay I'll just look at the variables required okay then this first for loop is to input a string for the array okay then this nested for loop is for sorting purpose the logic i just explained you okay and then after after sorting the content of same arrays array are printed okay so just to view the effect of sorting so let us execute it again i am going to enter the same data that we took for example so mango banana papaya apple and orange okay these are my five fruits and let us observe the difference see a result it is in sorted order in ascending sorted order apple banana mango orange and papaya right so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts or any comments you can write it to the comment section thank you for listening